Well, one thing that we're also going to be tracking over the course of this week as well, we are in the thick of second quarter earnings results. And with roughly 150 S&P 500 firms slated to report this week, including big names like the Green Siren, Starbucks, Ooh. and PayPal, as well as CVS, you got eBay, you got Moderna, Robinhood. So just thinking first and foremost, since I summoned them into the chat, the Green Siren, Starbucks, mm -hmm. um, I'm particularly going to be looking at how much the consumer is continuing to engage with a company like this at a time where they're already seeing some of their own spending in other discretionary categories. A cup of coffee that costs 10 bucks might be a discretionary purchase after a while. And so for the number of rewards members that they do have, I think that's a key figure to latch on to as well. 26.7 million members at the end of last quarter. And we'll see if that continues to tick up as it has uh, over the previous two quarters. And, and particularly if we move forward and see those number of, of the million members, the 26.7 million members move higher because they have a propensity to spend more within Starbucks, if that actually means that there are going to be more of the consumers that are just fine saying, you know what, I'm looking to get deals wherever I can get them right now. And that lean into rewards uh, during a discretionary kind of contraction, that's something I think we can expect more of this earnings season. Yeah, it's, it's hard to expect any good news coming out of Starbucks this week. You have inflation, labor inflation, commodities inflation, traffic pressure. Yeah. My team's going to kill, uh, kill me for this one, but uh, let me just touch a lot of tickers here. AMD, uh, earnings are on tab, very interested in that quarter especially how Intel really uh, missed their quarter last week and their guidance. So you would have to think AMD continues to take share in the data center from Intel. JetBlue earnings out, uh, also very important in light of their spirit acquisition. How does their business look as they're going to attack and try to gobble up this company? PayPal uh, under attack from actor investor uh, Elliott, another key earnings report to watch a deal, a, a settlement between the two companies, I'm hearing still likely to come tomorrow. And then last but not least, Caterpillar. Mm. Oh, look, we've been talking, we just talked about all this weakening global manufacturing data. Mm -hmm. How could that be good for Caterpillar's second quarter, but also their outlook? You want to do like a little weed? I have four more. The, I just missed the calendar. You want to do weed and start the, the fire? I you just, want to I sing just, a little refrain? Yeah, I, I, our calendar's not up there. I can keep going. But those are the ones that are, that are really sticking out to me. Well, here. let's group them together, okay? That's to me, that's how I tend to think yes. about these. So when you talk about Caterpillar, right, I group them together in my brain at least with the other industrials. So Tuesday morning, Caterpillar's reporting. Um, so is DuPont, which obviously a different side of the industrial coin. Um, Cummins eaten as well. So that's going to give us in that morning alone a significant picture of what's going on in the industrial economy. It'll give us some glimpses, Brad, to your point, of what's happening overseas where mm. Caterpillar gets a lot of its sales mm -hmm. and so do those other companies. And, and are we starting to see demand slowing on that front? You know, so that's going to be interesting. And this week also gives us a big insight into the consumer. Whether you're talking about Pinterest, whether you're talking about Activision or Starbucks or Uber or Marriott. Lyft. Right? right. So all of these companies, you can kind of put them in that bucket. We, we already got a decent view into sort of enterprise tech spending from a Microsoft, for example. So this will get a little bit more, uh, another piece of the puzzle or part of the picture, whatever mixed metaphor you want to use, <laughs> is kind of how I'm trying to think about it this week. By the way, another one I'm watching this week is going to be Robin Hood, yes. which gives us another side of the consumer, right? Not necessarily consumer spending, but consumer trading, obviously. What are consumers doing right now? Are we still seeing a lot of activity on that platform, obviously, in recent quarters we have not, right. um, so, but that'll be interesting to see. Oh, well, particularly interesting on not just the number of funded accounts, but how much they're actually seeing that engagement move higher at a point like this where you've got so many people who were greeted with the platform of Robinhood and looked at the opportunity for themselves to really kind of democratize their own investing strategy but at the same and commission free but at the same time I think there has been so much of the volatility that has scared away some retail investors so for the long term do they set a long term time horizon or do they say you know what near term I would, I would dabble in some speculative assets. And I think from what we're seeing and actually the prices of cryptocurrency, where you can trade that on the platform as well, that they're saying, you know what, I don't want to be so risky with the dollars that I'm putting into work. The same way that they're not going out and buying shoes on StockX right now, because I've seen a lot of shoes that are pretty discounted on StockX, mm. that they are not <laughs> as well, they are not as well going into a Robin Hood and saying, you know what, I'm just going to throw 50, 100, thousand dollars at a name that I'm not sure if they're going to produce results in the near term when I'm ready to pull my money out as well. I was going to say this week's gotten so busy I'm using two pens because there's, 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 there's a lot going on here. But oh AMC, you know what, last but not least, AMC, 
you know, who have probably mm. had a decent quarter, but the Top Gun results, the movie theaters coming back, AMC results on Friday, that might actually be pretty good. We'll see. Yeah, double wow. pens. Be watching. Uh, this is unprecedented for you saying AMC. I wouldn't saw Nope, so 